So we are at the end of our Global Changemaker Seminar, um, Democracy Forward, and with me are the three masterminds behind the seminar who put it all together from the, um, from the start to the end, from the thinking about it to putting it into practice. Um, and uh, first of all, I wanted to ask you to introduce yourself. Okay. Hello, I'm Sasha Schroff. I'm the Aspen Institute International Partners team intern, and I'm also a senior at American University School of International Service studying international studies. I am Sophia Wallace. I'm the program associate for the International Partners team in the United States. I'm Zeno Kona. I'm junior program officer uh, at the Aspen Institute Germany and responsible for the public program. You put a lot of effort into this and then it's over so quickly um, and I'm sure that you are a little bit of exhausted but probably also very happy that you are inspired. So let me ask you um, what surprised you about the seminar um, and what inspires you when you go forward? I think that what inspired me is just saying that there is such a global uh, network of individuals who are can come from different sectors and be willing to come here and engage with each other and talk about why there's so many challenges to our democracy and, and the different countries and things like that. Um, and I leave hopeful to see that there is that we are necessary in these spaces as an Aspen network, Aspen Germany, Aspen US, et cetera, international partners, we are necessary to bring these people together and have these conversations, otherwise it wouldn't be happening. So that's my takeaway. What I really um, found very, very good is like this diverse community of people uh, coming uh, to the to the seminar but also to the other events and there were really um, a broad range of perspectives um, that I think is not that often but I think um, that that happens not that often like um, at events in the political uh, sphere but I think it's really cool that like we as uh, Aspen International Partners and the Aspen Institute Germany could arrange uh, such a meeting and really I enjoyed uh, to to meet people I, from countries that I never heard of uh, like before what is happening there. So I really learned a lot uh, about the political situation there and it, I found, I think it's a, it was a really great experience. Um, for me, something that I really loved about this entire experience was the fact that the international partners are such a broad network and I feel like they really connect regionally and on individual levels, but this was a time where I got to see so many different regions of the world connect and have these dialogues that are so essential to building a democracy and building a future like as a whole and not as different regions or different countries. And I was able to see that collaboration between participants, but then also institutes and their representation, which I really enjoyed. And I also really loved being able to talk to participants about their different perspectives they were learning. And now some people were saying that they wanted a different perspective than the Eurocentric perspective or their country's perspective. And they got that, which was so lovely to see. And uh, one last question to all three of you. Um, what was your personal highlight? My personal highlight was the geopolitical simulation that we hosted. Um, that was very much a pilot. And to finally see that kind of passion project, I would call baby, just come, <laughs> <laughs> come out like that and see people engage and be playful with it and have fun. And then also just take away actual lessons from it and learn to do have active listening and, and learn how difficult sometimes those conversations in reality can be to have consent um, uh, with among certain topics, yes. I even had two personal highlights. So one is um, um, picking up Bobby Wine from the airport, uh, with, like sitting with such a really, really cool person in one car and having a conversation. It was like somehow it didn't fa feel real, but it was real. But uh, so this was my personal highlight. And my second was that the registration in the foreign ministry and the parliament <laughs> went so well, really, I didn't expect it. It was really great. I, <laughs> I didn't expect that. I would say my personal highlights was honestly the dinner conversation, specifically my conversation with Bobby Wine, as you were saying, he's an amazing individual and that was such a cool experience to have. But in general, just sitting with people and talking to them and just having these really in-depth conversations that felt like I had known people for years, talking about all these interesting topics and just being open with everyone was a really great space to be in. Mm -hmm. Thank you so very much. And um, I hope we do it again, huh? 
I really hope we do. Hope this yeah. is an annual thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> of course, I hope too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, do we I do really hope so. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Um, it really was a pleasure.